do you mean by non-traditional education and the accelerated programs? Non-traditional education is in fact having the same meaning as the accelerated program. They both refer to education to increase your existing skills, recreational education, and to study and work together uh, on the real world issues. Accelerated learning programs in higher education began about 25 years ago in the study and research on accelerated learning programs by Rodowski, 2003. I will put the reference on the description section below. He focused on the issues such as how do you define the accelerated program, why accelerated learning programs are controversial, and he also focused on the quality of accelerated learning courses and programs and the persistence and success in accelerated programs. So, how do you define the accelerated program? According to Urostowski, by definition, um, it is a structure for students to take less time than conventional um, and often referred to as a traditional program to attain ed uh, university credit certificates or degrees. So for more information on the non-traditional education introduction to the accelerated programs, watch my uh, previous video from the link above. So next, why accelerated learning programs are controversial? Conventional academic is to say to have uh, criticized schools with accelerated programs for stressing convenience over substance and rigor. However, there are a lot of criticism on accelerated programs or learning when it first introduced. Traditionally, people who refer to it as the education and drive through, drive through you to emphasize the accelerated program as to the relationships to fast food restaurants and their inferiority to more conventional schools. So, Wodowski then focused on the quality of accelerated learning courses and programs to make it more attractive. For example, more emphasis on accreditation, learning, student attitudes, and alumni attitudes. I will mention more about it in my future video. Next, the persistence and the success in accelerated programs. Here, the persistent and successful way is to keep track the records on the participants and also use adult learning survey to assess a set of variables among current students that included demographic characteristics, transfer credits, financial aid and motivation factors. Also use an exit survey to understand the reasons that adults left your respective college and also use telephone interview to more qualitatively understand their experiences prior to withdrawing from college. Rodowski research found to be a great success to see the insights of introducing the accelerated programs. I will talk about Rodowski research in my video. Thank you so much for your participation, watching and listening. Until next time.